Hey, hello, Juan. Hello, Juan, how are you doing? Can you listen to me, Juan? Yes, All right, very good. Hello, Dennis. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Rebecca. I uh, I mean, um, hello, Jocelyn. Good evening. Hello, teachers. Good hello. evening. Hey, welcome back. Uh, hello, Gisela. Hello, Marco. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Gisela. Good to see you in the class. All right, I have like nine people, no, eight people. Uh, connected and I will wait a little bit more so that the majority of the uh, of the participants get get into the class. All right. So I hope you are okay. Um, we will continue uh, with the with the class today with the information we started yesterday, and um, I hope today will be better. Okay. Yesterday, wa I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> because it was my first class, right, with you. You know, um, starting is not, it's not so easy, right? But today I feel better, uh, I feel more comfortable, and I hope we're gonna have a great time together, okay? Marco, hello, Marco. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes, yeah. teacher, hello, oh. how are you? The fine. You're fine. I'm willing to teach something new today. Oh, nice, nice. Very good. Okay, remember there are there are. Uh, well, I suggest you to activate your camera in the in case um. But but in case you have problems with your camera, just let me know. It. I understand, right? But for me, it's very important that you activate your camera. Okay, that is fantastic. Hello, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good to see you in the class. Uh, yes. All right. So uh, let me see. I have 11 people. All right. 11 people. I have 11 people and still waiting for. Okay. It's really good. Uh, Rebecca says, good evening. I will not be able to participate in the class. I am in a work meeting. All right, Rebecca. It's all right. But uh, it's okay. Um, let me see, 12 people and still waiting for, okay, now uh, I, I wonder if you could see the information, I mean, the quote that I share with you uh, through WhatsApp, do you see, do you see my, the picture I share, do you see the link I shared, could you see it? ¿Pudieron ver eh, la imagen que les compartí en el chat de WhatsApp? Sí. Ok, ¿pudieron ver el enlace? Ok, si no lo pudieron ver, no hay problema, porque eso es nada más para reforzar lo que nosotros vemos en clase. Ok, ustedes decidirán en qué momento verlo, en qué momento practicarlo. Eh, Porque sí hay que sacarle provecho a todos los recursos que tengamos a la mano para aprender. Ok, es necesario que todo el tiempo estemos pensando algo en inglés, algo. O sea, eh, es, es sumamente importante que ustedes se enamoren tanto de inglés que todos los días quieran aprender una frase nueva. Ok, si ustedes se enamoran tanto del idioma inglés como yo me enamoré, Ya tengo un poquito más de, quizás un poquito más de 20 años de estar estudiando inglés. Y yo me, hubo un momento que me enamoré y estaba, pues en todos los lugares, yo estaba tratando de aprender algo en inglés. Y a mí me funcionó y yo creo que también podría funcionarles a usted que todos los días se aprendan una frase, una palabra nueva y que la pongan en práctica. ¿Ok? Esa es una de mis recomendaciones. 
eh, si, si lo toman a bien, ya van a ver que pronto, tarde o temprano, lo vamos a decir así, eh, ustedes van a ver un progreso en su, en su aprendizaje y de repente van a estar hablando más fluido, pronunciando eh, mejor, escribiendo más en inglés, escuchando eh, frases nuevas en inglés, etc. Ok. Now, yes. Now I have 14 people and now I think it's time to start. Uh, Rebecca said, I'm so sorry, but I see the class. Uh, all right. It's all right, uh, Rebecca. But remember, it's very important for us to to see you in the class, right? So, Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay. That's pretty good. Now let us get down to business. Let us start. I will share some info because today we have to work a lot. Okay. Uh, so. All right. This is basic. Okay. This is this doesn't belong to you, but I have the other lesson over here. Now, yes, this lesson, this lesson is for you. This lesson is for you. Let me see. All right. Yesterday we started something, right? So we were talking about uh, about um, uh, different activities, right? And we started to uh, we started talking about how frequently we um, practice different different activities, and. As far as I remember, we finished with this part, right? So we will continue with the next one. Okay, we have another objective over here. In this section, you will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. And we're gonna go directly to it, okay? So that we can practice as, as soon as possible, right? So you have, uh, ah, wait a minute, I will stop sharing because I, I didn't include the audio, and I will do it now. Now, if you have problem, if you're not able to listen, uh, let me know so that I, I can try or I, I can solve the problem. Now, can you see the info? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, so we're gonna practice a little bit about pronunciation. The last time I didn't tell you but, uh, you know, we're going to be working with four macro skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And now is the time to practice pronunciation, speaking, all right? So in this part, uh, as you can see, you're really fit, Paul. She looks tight, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. And let's see, we're going to practice a little bit. Very in this important. session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Now, you see, uh, the sentences, you know, we only have three sentences, right? Oh, give me one second. Give me one second. We only have three sentences. We're going to listen to in them. This session, participants will listen to in this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, now uh, the last part is the, the, the part that Dirty. really matters to me. Okay, now what did you listen Remember to? to listen and now, how did you listen to? Times. Now, uh, I will ask some people to read it. Okay, the first sentence. Ada, Ada, could you please read this, this sentence, Ada? Okay. You really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Very good. Um, Christian, could you please read the second one? Oh, it looks tired, James. 
You look, you look, uh, she looks tired, James. She looks, right? And, very good. Claudia, Claudia, could you please read the third one? I feel great, and Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Now, we are gonna listen the last time, and you, you are going to try to imitate um, exactly the way the person pronounces the sentences. I'm we will see. Needed. Listen, In the last session, time. Participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. Okay, now it's falling intonation, right? You're really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Okay, she looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. It is something like that, right? That, that it's because falling into as you can see it falling into nation. All right, so three sentences, sentence right. So we got into the business uh, about pronunciation. We will move on uh, a little bit quickly because we are ready practice. But let me see, I, I want to listen to two people more. David Roberto, could you please read the three of them? I feel red, Dr. Lee. Uh, the three of them. One, two, and three. Okay. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. No, but what about the, the number one, David? Okay. You really fit, Paul? You really yeah. fit, Paul? Okay, second one. She looks tired, James. Fantastic. And the third one. I feel red, Dr. Lee. Pretty good. Thank you, uh, David. Dennis, okay. could you please read the three of them? Okay. You really beat Paul. She uh -huh. looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Good. Uh, what about Esmeralda? Hello, Esmeralda. Is Esmeralda in the group now? Well, I will check it later. Uh, let me see. Gisela, could you please read the three of them? You're, you're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Good. She looks tired. Very good. Juan Antonio. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Pretty good. And the last person, because later we're going to practice, but uh, uh, I mean, we're going to have some more practice with different exercises. Marco. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Wow, that was fantastic. And let me see. Thank you. I think I, I still have some time for another person. Maria Elena, please. You really feel Paul. She looked tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Oh, that was really nice. But listen, listen to me. Remember, okay. If we have an S over here, you have to pronounce it, right? So she looks, she looks tired. She looks tired. Excellent. Very good. That's the way it is. Okay, now enough. Let me see. Let me see. We're going to move on. Okay, now. You, you know, you know what? Uh, the topic, there is something else that you can include. Okay, you can um, include some other expressions in this part, in the discussion part. Well, now that we got familiarized with it, we're going to move on to another activity. Well, over here, you are going to listen to a, a conversation and you will, you will um, follow a conversation about fitness. You will notice also that there are some questions with how and short answers. All right. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go directly to it. Okay. One, seven. This is the video. 
Okay, I'm a real fitness freak. Hey, now, one question. One question. Do you consider you are a, a real fitness freak, uh, Moises? Moises? Moses? Do you, do you consider yourself a, a real fitness freak? Uh, no. No. So you told me yesterday that, that you don't go to the to the gym. Uh, no. Uh, no. You don't exercise. Yes, I exercise, but uh, three times a week. Ah, very good. Only three times a week. So that means that maybe you like to do exercise, but you are not a fitness freak like the one, like the person that's over here. You will see, uh, 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 you will see, and you will listen uh, to about this guy. Let me see a uh, question for Nelson. Nelson, do you consider yourself a real fitness freak? No, teacher. Not really. No. How often do you go to the re to, to to the gym? Sorry. I I never <laughs> you never go to the gym. But <laughs> but no? Uh, no, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, quisiera decir una o dos veces al año que sería ah, uh, once, uh, once or twice a year. Once or uh, once or once a or year or a twice year. a year. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey. Wow, you almost never go to the gym. Uh, Oscar, do you consider yourself a real fitness freak? Oscar? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oscar Antonio? Yes or uh, no? No. Not really? No, really. Uh, Not really. I work. Ah, because you work all day uh, long. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Every day, um, five cuadras, como se dice? Blocks, entre, five blocks. Five blocks. And you walk five blocks, but that's... Entre cinco y diez cuadras. Between five and ten blocks daily. Wow. So you do exercise, right? Yeah. Actually, you do exercise. Yeah. Well, I know that Rebecca is, is busy right now. And also, Ricardo, you are sick, right? Ricardo, uh, okay, if you are sick, okay, it's not time for you to speak. But I know that you are in the class. What about Sonia? Sonia, are you a, do you consider your, yourself a real fitness freak, Sonia? Yes, I go to the gym um, every week. Wow. Every week? Every day? Yes. Yes, every day. Fantastic. Are you <laughs> in a diet? Um yes. Wow. One day you're gonna be my teacher. All right. <laughs> That's what I need it. Okay. Right. I need it's it. Okay. Uh, St <laughs> Stephanie, do you consider yourself a real fitness freak? Let me see, let me see. There's some, someone is chatting over here. Ricardo said I go to the gym three times a week. Uh, well, uh, okay, Ricardo. I, it's all right, Ricardo. Uh, well, uh, Stephanie. ¿Cuánto es? De 70. Uh, give me one second, please. Uh, give me one second. Creo que alguien... Se, 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 give me one second recuerden chicos esos... Oscar, Oscar chicos, chicos recuerden por Pero favor que hay que, que hay que cerrar este, los micrófonos ok cuando no estemos participando please ok now uh, let me see well I will continue with the video because uh, there you are going to you are going to um, try to to pronounce In this class, we may listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Now, 
before getting into the in, into the video itself, into the conversation, at the end you are going to tell me what is the conversation all about. Al final le voy a preguntar de qué se trató la conversación y ustedes me lo van a decir por supuesto en inglés. All right? Let us try. Vamos a tratar. Okay? Hi everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. Listen I'm and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. All right. So, what is the conversation all about? He plays tennis. He plays tennis. Play uh -huh. tennis. What else? He does aerobics. Mm -hmm. Plays a week. All right. Yeah. What? Uh huh. Few tips. Now we will see it once again. Let me see because I'm trying to get it. In this class, okay. you will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another? Now, um, well, I will ask some people to try to reproduce the conversation, right? Now, you told me that's about exercising. Is the, is the conversation about exercising? Yeah. Yeah, it's about exercising. Uh, it's about playing tennis. Okay, it's about going to the gym. Is the conversation about going to the gym? Yes or no? No. 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 It, no. It is not about going to the gym. Okay. Now, no. question: What is the meaning for this this expression? Workout. El trabaja, el trabaja fuerte. No, not afuera. really. Uh uh No, no. How often do you decision? work out? All right. Okay, but in order for you to uh, work out, then you you have to go to the gym, right? ¿Qué dijo que era, perdón? Work out to do exercise. Ah, okay. Uh, at the gym, right? Okay. Uh, you yeah, well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. Well, I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, now you see, this guy is like, it's all right. Uh, well, I will ask two people, okay, to tell me about the conversation, okay? So try to um, pronounce the best you can. Uh, I need Victor and Xiomara. Okay, Victor uh, will be Keith and Xiomara will be Ruth. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm really fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, I'm right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'm giving you a few tips. All right. Pretty good. That was quite good. Now, uh, listen to me and repeat. Uh, Victor and Xiomara, please. Uh, work out. Work out. Work out. Work out. Okay, Victor, I want to listen to you, please. Work out. Work out. Work out. Work out. Sounds 
Sound. Sounds. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Pretty. 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 I'll give you. I give you. I'll give you. I'll give you. I give you. All right. Now, I, I will try with two people more. Okay. Vamos a tratar con dos personas más. Y mientras estas dos personas lo practican, Víctor y Xiomara lo van a perfeccionar. ¿Ok? Luego le voy a pedir a Víctor y a Xiomara que lo vuelvan a decir, pero... Eh, lo voy, lo, voy a, lo voy a poner nuevamente para que ustedes, que para que tratemos. No se, los, se los, no se los voy a pedir así, que lo hagan igual, pero que tratemos de hacerlo lo, de la manera que ellos lo pronuncian. Ok, let me see. Voy a pedir la ayuda de Jocelyn y de Cristian. Ok, Jocelyn y Cristian. You're in great shape, Kate. Oh, I guess, I guess I'm a real fitness coach. I'm a real fitness coach. Okay. Just How often do you work out? Good. Well, I do a lot of twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play some time? Oh, do you want to play some time? How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well. I get sorry. How how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll I'll give you a tip. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, that was uh, pretty good. Now let us try to to repeat, please. Uh, sounds. 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 So it's, it's the same, right? Sounds like a lot of fun. 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 Good. Okay, now, uh, let me see. I, I will try with Victor and Xiomara the last time, and then we're going to move on to another activity. Okay, Victor and Xiomara, please. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I, I am really fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic weeks a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I give him you a few tips. Uh, all right. Oh, that, that was, uh, you improved. Mejoraron. Excellent. Okay, esa but. Contracción, esa contracción, ¿qué significa? Which one, uh, Victor? Uh, la última, no problem. Uh, I. I, I'll yeah, give you a I few will. tips. I, 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 I will. Is, I will. I will. Yeah, that's right. I will. I will give you a few tips. All right. Yeah. So, uh, tell me, Victor. Uh, no, no, solamente. It's all right. Uh, okay. como, como futuro. Yeah, it's about future. It's about future. I'll give you a few tips. Te daré unos, unos uh, tips. Algunos tips. 
All right. So, hey, listen carefully. Uh, I know that you already started about the verb the ver to be and the pronunciation of the verb to be, and it, that's quite good. Uh, don't say, I are real. Then you say, I'm a real. I'm a real. I'm a real. I'm. All right. Uh, work out. Work out. Oh, aerobics. Okay, try to pronounce the S at the end. And I'll give you a few tips. Okay, but you did it. Actually, it was it was better. Now let's see. We're gonna we're gonna uh, we're going to go to the next uh, practice, and then I will I will continue asking people to participate. Okay, quite important for me. Uh, don't think, do not think that. Don't think that if if we move on. Uh, to another exercise is because we are done with it. No, don't think that way. Uh, think that the the information, uh, okay, is for you to see it as many times as you wish and to practice it as many times as you decide it. No, no crean que ya porque vamos a pasar eh, esta conversación, ya nuestro trabajo está hecho. No. Yo voy a tratar de invertir el tiempo, las 60 minutos, de aprovecharlo al máximo, pero recuérdense que ustedes también pueden practicar eh, la información que vemos en la clase en algún momento del día, ¿ok? No se detengan en practicar una y otra vez, una y otra vez, de tal modo que eh, lleguen a, 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 a volverse, pues, a unos maestros en, en, en las conversaciones, que sean, que, que sean, pues, que aprendan pronunciación, fluidez, eh, etcétera. Vocabulario, ok, etcétera. Eh, let's see, let us move on with the next part. So we're going to go over the next 1.9. And over here, in this part, you are going to watch a study question with how and short answers, okay? How and short answers. How and short answers. Keep it in mind because now we're going to move on to this part. How, how, okay? Short answers. And as you remember yesterday, we were talking about, hey, actually, how often, how often do you cook? Let me see. I will ask someone over here. Uh, Nelson, Nelson, how often do you cook, Nelson? Sometimes, teacher. Uh, okay. Now, what do you What's, like to cook? Uh, que me gusta cocinar. Yeah. Uh, Rice, rice is arroz. Yeah, rice uh, with uh, chicken. <laughs> uh, do you consider you are good at, at cooking? Uh, sorry, teacher. Do, do you cook deliciously? I mean, really delicious uh, food? The rice, yes. <laughs> The chicken, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know, right? We don't know. Okay, what about, okay, thank you. What about you, uh, Maria Elena? Yes. Yeah, uh, do you cook? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. What do you like sometimes. to cook? Uh, breakfast. Ah, you prepare breakfast. Breakfast. Um, lunch, lasagna, uh, chicken, lasagna for lunch, chicken, chicken, um, ¿qué más? beans, some pupusas, maybe beans, um, eggs. Oh, all right. Pretty good. Okay. Now, listen. The grammar focus uh, for today is uh, regarding to the word how. How. 
and should answer. And the first question is, how often? How often do you work out? How often do you work out? And you have short answers. Well, I, I would play. I, I would play the video. I think um, the guy is going to explain it better. Okay. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well, how good, they refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? All right, so as you can see, the lady is trying to provide the difference between how often and how long, how well and how good. Okay, if I say, how often do you go to the English class? How often do you come to English class? Question for everybody. How often do you get into the English class? Into the night and the nine o'clock at 10 o'clock. Oh, okay, every night. Every, every night. night. Every, every evening, day. right? Every evening. Every evening. Okay, from, from nine 10 to ten o'clock. All right, okay. that's that's about how frequently do you do you get into the English class? Now, look at the second one. How long do you spend at? How long do you spend uh um in the English class? One hour, right? An hour. Yeah, how long do you spend refers to uh, to time, okay? To the time. Maybe it's a, about an hour, two hours, three hours, etc. It's a half of an hour, so we don't know. But how long refers to that? Look at the next part, please. I hope that you have it clearly. Now, how well do you speak English? How well do you speak English? It refers... Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay, you speak English very well. Very well. That's the way you speak English. Now, how good are you at speaking English? You may say pretty good, not so good. Oh, you see, you 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 were you saw some some expressions on him. How well do you speak English? Pretty well, about average, not very well. Um, not very well. Yeah, how good, how good are you at speaking English? Is it pretty good, okay, or not so good? All right. Now, right. I don't, I don't know if you, if you see the difference. Do you see the difference between question number one, question number two? Question number three and question number four. Is it clear? Yeah? Yeah, yeah right. I think there is no any problem. And now, how often? Now, uh, I will ask some of you to help me with this part. Uh, create one question with how often. Okay, create one question with how often. And then let me know about the question. Okay. 
How often do you study out? Uh, how often do you study? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, how often do you study? Okay, why don't you ask the question to, to Jocelyn? Ask the question to Jocelyn, please. Okay, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, how often do you study? Eng English, right? English, okay. Of course, that is the best subject. Okay. Jocelyn, Sorry. how? Can you repeat, please? Okay, Jocelyn, how often do you study English? I study English. I always study English. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Very good. Now, I will ask someone else. Dennis, please. Uh, ask a question to some to somebody in, in the class. How <laughs> long? How long? Uh, okay. How long? Perdón. How long do you at work? How long do you spend at work? How long do you spend at work? I, I have. So, um, I ask, ask uh, let me see. Ask uh, Xiomara. Ask Xiomara about it. Uh, Dennis, Xiomara. Dennis. Hello, Xiomara. How long do you spend at work? Hi, Xiomara. I'm here. How long? A, a, a hour. Ah, you spend a word, eight hours. Very good, Xiomara. Very good, guys. That's awesome. Let's see. Let us try with the next one. So, because you, you need to create some others, right? How well do you play tennis? Now, uh, Gisela asked a question to Juan Antonio. Please. Con well or good? <laughs> how well? How well, Gisela? Uh, Cre create a question and ask that question to Juan Antonio. How well do you swim? Uh, uh -huh. So they say, hello, Juan Antonio. I have a question for you. <laughs> how well do you Swing, Antonio? Repeat again, please. How well do you swim? <laughs> De nadar. How, how well do you swim, Antonio? I swim, I swim. Not very well, I can swim. Absolutely, you see. Not very well, right? Not very well. See, see, if you if you swim um, well, then you say pretty well, okay. Uh, if you like uh, swim uh, this way, then you say about an about average, and that's it. Pretty good. Thank you, Hisela. Thank you, Juan. And then uh, the last two people that are gonna help me with this, I ask, oh, uh, Sonia. Sonia, create a question with how good and ask that question to, let me see. To, no, Dennis already participated. To David, okay, to David, to David. Okay, how good are you at uh, playing tennis? Oh, a pretty good at oh. playing tennis. Very good, pretty good. Not so okay. good. Okay, but that's fantastic. Hey, you see, uh, I'm really glad. It's live, but no, no importa. I'm really glad because when you participate, okay. you know, I, I want to congratulate you. Quiero felicitarlos porque todo lo que yo hablo, todo lo entienden y hacen las cosas. Eso es lo primero. Y lo otro es que están pronunciando muy bien. La verdad que los felicito. Vamos a seguir. Let's see. Let's move on. Vamos a continuar. Y vamos a ver qué más de provecho le podemos sacar a la lección. All right. Now, you see. Uh, at the end. Let me see. 
at the end, well, you can create sentences. You can create some questions, okay? And include those questions over here in the discussion part. Eh, le decía yo al otro grupo que es muy importante que ustedes participen acá y nosotros podamos ver el, eh, lo que ustedes crean, ¿verdad? Eh, lo que ustedes, las oraciones que ustedes crean, las preguntas de tal manera que podamos ver los avances también acá reflejados en la plataforma. Let's see. Let's let's move on. This is the 1.10, so we're going to go over the 1.11. In the 1.11, we have uh, some knowledge check. All right, we're going to go over it and you see, we're going to we're going to check. You are going to ask, give me one second, please. Instructions. You are going to complete the following questions. God, okay, it says, guide yourself with the answers. Choose from how often, how well, how good, or how long. All right? So you have how many, how many, how, how many options do you have? One, two, three. And for you have four options. Remember, this is the information we have just studied. And you, we have the, the first one. At volleyball, I guess I'm pretty good. I often I often play on weekends. Now, what do you think is the is the best option? How good? How good? Oops. How good are you? How good? How good are what? You? How good are you? How good are you at volleyball? I guess pretty good. I often play on weekends. Number two. Spend online about an hour. After dinner, I like to chat with my friends. How long do you? How long do you? How long do you? How long do you spend oh online? Oh about, about an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. Good. Number three. Play cards. Once or twice a month, it's a good way to relax. How often? Good, How often? good. How often? Now, let me tell you that often can be pronounced in two ways. Se puede pronunciar often o lo pueden pronunciar often. Okay. How oh. often? How often? How often what? Do you? you. All right. How often do you play cards? Uh, once or twice a month. It's a good way to relax. Good. And the last one, type. Not very well. Actually, I need to take a <coughs> typing class. How well do you? How well, how, how well do you type? Oops. Do you type? How well do you type? Not very well, actually. I need to take a typing class. Now we are going to, let me see. We are going to check, okay, the answers and then we will see if you did it. Now, how good are you? How good are you? Very good. Now I will ask the people to read it, okay, and pronounce it the best you can. Uh, Ada, please, can you read the, the, the first part in Christian, read, read the answer part. How good are you at volleyball? How good are How you at volleyball? Are you volleyball? How good are you volleyball? How good are you at volleyball? Uh, I I guess I play the truth. I often play play on weekends. Uh, play all, on right. Weekend. Uh, all right, uh, Christian. I will let you know that there is there is a mistake going here. Uh, over here, you don't say I, but you say I'm. Oh, yeah. Okay, you okay. say I'm, but, but don't worry. 
te dice I'm. Okay. Uh, uh, once again, okay, Ada, please. This is the second time. We're going to practice uh, pronunciation tonight. Uh, Ada, first part, please. How good are you at volleyball? How good are you at I, volleyball? I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. Good. Now it's, it's, it's getting better, right? And let's see. I have Claudia and David. Second, second one. Claudia and David. Claudia, you start. Uh, how long do you, how are how long do you speak online? Okay. How long? About um, about um, how after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. Wow, that was good. But listen to me, please, and then you then then you practice again. Oiganme, por favor, y luego lo vuelven a decir. Yes. Oh, okay. Now, how long do you spend online? About oh. an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. Okay, Claudia, you start. Sí. How long do you spend online? About, a, about, about an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. All right. How long do you spend online? How long do you spend online? Do you spend online? Do you spend online? Okay, sounds With... better. About? About okay. an, an hour, hour after dinner. Yeah. I like to I chat like with my friends. Chat. I like to chat with my friends. Wow, that's really good. Now, you see, uh, whenever you see this lesson, once again, then you practice it over and over again, and then you will get it. Okay, number three, mm -hmm. we go with Dennis and Esmeralda. Number three, Esmeralda, you start. Oh, well, Esmeralda is not over here. So then we have Dennis and Gisela. Dennis, you start. Okay. Uh, number three? Yeah. Okay. How often do you play card? Once or twice a month, it's a good way to relax. Okay. How often do you play cards? How often do you play cards? Once or twice a month. It's a good way to relax. Once or twice a month. It's a good way to relax. Good. Excellent. Now you, you did it. Now, then we have Juan Antonio and Marco, please, the last, the last one. Okay. Juan, Juan Antonio, you start. How well can you type? Not very well. Actually, I need to take a typing class. Okay. That was quite good. Okay. Now, I don't know if you have any question about it. It's because, you know, we are still missing like seven minutes, but we can like uh, have some review or if you want, we can see if we can cover the next part. But actually, if you can see, we got into the 1.11 part and we are almost, we're almost at the end, right? We're almost at the end. So, but I wonder if you have any question. Tell me. Tell me, Victor. Is how well do you? Es correcto. How well? How well? How well? How well do you? How well? How well do you? How well? Okay. But but the problem over here is with is with can you? Can can is 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 a is a model bear. I think that's that's your question, right? How well? How well can you type? Okay, how well can? Que también puedes, puedes, porque este es el auxiliar o este es un modal, el modal de poder. How well can you type? How well do, can you type? Okay, that's quite good. Okay. The, the best way to say is, okay, let us forget about do and let us type can. Can. How well can you type? 
Not very well. Actually, I need to take a typing class. All right. Now, something that I want uh, that I want you to to know is that the more you practice, the more uh, you learn. Quiero decirles lo siguiente. Um, recuerden, yo no sé si es mi micrófono el que está fallando, pero escucho eh, un poquito de interferencia. Recordemos que si no estamos participando, podemos apagar este, el micrófono de tal manera que, que todo fluya de, de, de la mejor manera en la clase. Ahora, yo les recomiendo a ustedes que um, practiquen lo que se ve en las clases, los videos, una y otra vez, una y otra vez, de tal modo que ustedes lo logren um, absorber y que la pronunciación se quede con ustedes, que el ritmo de una lección o de una conversación también se vaya eh, quedando en su, en su manera de hablar. Recordemos que no somos nativos, somos, estamos aprendiendo un segundo idioma. Y para aprender cualquier idioma, inglés, francés, italiano, lo que sea, en el caso inglés, tenemos que imitar a los norteamericanos en este caso. ¿Okay? Tenemos que tratar de imitarlos. Cómo ellos pronuncian, la rapidez con que ellos lo pronuncian, la naturalidad con que ellos lo hacen, es muy, muy importante. Porque el día de mañana eh, ustedes se van a encontrar con personas nativas y ya van a ver lo lindo que se siente poder platicar con ellos Desenvolver una plática amena con ellos es muy, 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 um, uno se siente muy orgulloso y se siente muy feliz de poder lograr eso. Así que eh, no sé si hay algún comentario. Eh, ¿Vieron los enla el enlace que yo les coloqué en el grupo? En el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, ok, si yes, eso es, si ustedes lo vieron yes, y no lo pudieron ver antes de ingresar a la clase, no hay problema. Ese enlace yo lo, yo lo coloqué ahí para cuando ustedes eh, quieran y puedan practicar que lo hagan. Ok, siéntanse libres e inclusive siéntanse libres, libres, perdón, de buscar más información y aprender otras frases que quizás no vimos acá en clase, eh, otro vocabulario, otra situación, otra conversación, eh, pero eso sí, traten de que sea eh, referente a lo que nosotros estamos estudiando. Recuérdense que en esta ocasión hemos estado estudiando Frequency Adverbs, adverbios de frecuencia. La temática fue el ejercicio, ¿sí o no? Ahora, pero fre Frequency Adverbs se puede utilizar en diferentes contextos. ¿Se recuerdan que yo les pregunté si les gustaba cocinar? Algunos me dijeron sí. Y, este, y ya luego les pregunté, ¿qué tan a menudo cocinas? Entonces ya cambió mi tema de conversación. Ya no es el ejercicio, sino que yo lo que hice es cambiar el tema, pero utilizar siempre la frequency adverse. Porque eso es un tema que se puede utilizar eh, de diferentes maneras, con diferentes situaciones, ¿ok? Entonces, mientras más practiquemos, más aprendemos y nos hacemos eh, mejor hablantes del segundo idioma. ¿Les parece? No sé si hay, alguna, eh, si hay alguna observación o algún comentario. Yo por acá, cuando yo les pido que participen en la clase, al mismo tiempo estoy pasando lista. Eh, aquí tengo mi asistencia de manera física, Perdón, acá eh, tenemos este, llevamos el récord también en, en la plataforma, pero yo, a mí me gusta también llevarlo de manera física porque eh, eh, de esa forma yo voy chequeando quién está presente en la clase, eh, quienes participan, quienes no han participado todavía y llevo un mejor control. Entonces, por acá pude notar que no sé si Esmeralda está en el grupo a, ahorita. Esmeralda, bueno, Esmeralda no, no asistió, la otra persona que noté yo acá es eh, Stephanie Michel, no sé si Stephanie Michel se encuentra con nosotros, 
No, tampoco está Stephanie Michel. Ya de ahí todos están presentes. Stephanie Romero. Stephanie Romero. Teacher está escribiendo en el chat. Stephanie. Eh, Stephanie Romero, ah, dice. Ah, perdón, 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 Stephanie, veamos. Gracias, gracias, chicos. Ah, ok, Stephanie. Ah, una pregunta, Stephanie, ¿ayer estuvo con nosotros? No pude estar en toda la clase. Lo que sí sé es que tengo un poco de problemas con el internet, que se me vinieron a cambiar, a cambiar el modem. Entonces, no soy desde el teléfono. Perfecto, Stephanie. Gracias por, por dejarme saber esa información, porque eh, a mí me, me, me interesa mucho estar pendiente de cada uno de ustedes. Y si tienen algún problema, si, si, tienen, si tienen alguna dificultad, pues háganme el favor de, de comentármelo, así como lo hizo Stephanie, para yo estar sabedor, ¿verdad? De por qué este, quizás alguien no activó la, la, la cámara por alguna situación técnica, ¿ok? Yo pues eh, lo comprendo, algunas veces tenemos fallas técnicas. Ok, y hay que resolverlas. Otras veces no podemos usar el micrófono, a lo mejor. Otras veces alguien está enfermo de su garganta. Eh, pueden suceder muchas cosas, pero lo importante es que ustedes nos dejen saber eh, por qué eh, eh, de alguna situación que nos está impidiendo participar en la clase. Ok, ya pasé prácticamente la lista y... Um, no, let's see, Let, let's see tomorrow in the class once again. Vamos a ver en la clase mañana de nuevo. Gracias, okay. profesor. Thank you. Hasta luego. Hey, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.